Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is sponsored by kindness and love for one another. Let's do it you guys, let's be kind, let's be loving, let's be friendly. Let's feed these horses. Hi girls, hi Pen. There you go. So one of our chickens escaped. We don't know how they're getting out, but somehow she got out or something got her. There's always that possibility. Ow! You Ow! There's always that possibility. Oh, sorry, Gracie. If you want your food, huh? Hold on. Yeah, we're gonna investigate. Sophie's been out looking all morning, but we had to stop and come down and do chores, so. I got horse stickers. We're gonna go back up, yeah, but all is right in her world because she's got horse stickers. They're super cute. He's super glittery. Also, I before I forget, I want to tell you guys that we have our first horse show. It's all ready. We know when we're going. I guess I have to like sign up for it. I'm gonna figure that out today. But every single day in the life of a YouTuber is insane, you guys. Like you wake up in the I woke up this morning and I already dealt with 17 issues. Some of them fun and exciting, some of them stressful. Oh. Like there's always so much to do. My dog told me that she loves me. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was the most crazy thing. We're waiting for uh Molly to finish pooping and for Gabby to arrive. It's true, like, so she's deaf, she, she doesn't talk very often, and it's unusual for her to like oh, say anything. Oh, she talks a lot. I guess Sophie says she hears her all the time talking. I've never heard her talk before in my life. She so, looks at me and she does the talk thing. Yeah, I've never, she's I never, never talked to me. I never know what she says, so I you know how, do it back. <laughs> you know how Ruby always will talk and tell us stuff? Well, Sophie, let Daisy out of her crate this morning. She went pee and then Daisy ran up to my bed. She beat Sophie up there and she sat on the edge of my bed and she watched the door because she can't. No, that was the second time. Because she cannot survive unless Sophie's in the room. So she watched the door and Sophie came in and she sat there and she looked in Sophie's eyes. Sophie looked in her eyes and she said, rah, 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 you. <laughs> we were just like, what? Like it literally sounded like I love you. Like it was. It was I love. You. It was so like shocking and unbelievable and exciting. And we both were just freaking out. I wish I had the camera up there. We would show you guys. I we were still freaking can't out. You did that. And it's true. This dog loves her some Sophie. Like she loves her. Like she would not be able to live without. Wish that I could stay in this moment forever, so I can hold you in my. Carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm able. Scare the monsters under your bed. Deep and abiding. Liking for you is all I need. Until my heart gives in. Tell Santa that we need to cut down the hay. Either get it cut and baled, or like the field that they just finished in, cut it down so that it can grow fresh again for them. But so the Lord find that pitchfork. But he doesn't listen. Sometimes he doesn't listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he is a good guy. But sometimes he doesn't listen to me. So we bought everything that we needed yesterday to fix up the pool. I left the water running the other night thinking like it'll be full by morning, but he turned it off. And in light of the fact that it's almost Father's Day, I'm, this vlog is not about bashing Sam. We are, ex we are happy about all the stuff that he actually does for us and all the help he does. And I've said it before that when somebody helps you, you can't be picky. You can only be grateful and thankful. And he does a lot for us. Mom. I actually like the pool when it's shallow. Yeah, let's look. Uh-oh. Don't you go up there, Molly. You guys know Molly likes to jump in that pool. Still not full. All right, the hose is in here. I'm going to turn uh -huh. it on. I have all the chemicals. Oh, wait. Molly can still climb in my... Yeah, no. Leave that hose in there. I'm going to go turn it on. Right. Operation pool will be ready chemicals? by the weekend. That's my goal. Do you have the chemicals in it? No, we didn't put any chemicals in yet. I wanted to fill it first. It's been raining for two days straight. And even though everything is growing well, so are the weeds. <laughs> Sophie's chicken did knock it out. Where was she? I did see her go. Where was she? Inside the thing. Inside the hutch? 
No, on the ground. On the ground? What the heck? Okay. My eyes were playing tricks on me. You had the whole world. She called her dad. She called everybody. We were all working, looking for the chicken. She wasn't there, though. That's Gabby's everyone. in here trying on glasses. Gabby's trying on glasses. I like Gabby in glasses. No. She wasn't there, though. I couldn't find her. But don't keep putting on glasses. You'll end up getting glasses. These are just magnifying ones. I know. I know. Yours, I can't see anything in. No, mine are bad. I have to go to the eye These doctor, These ones though. are just a little blurry, except for things close up. Like, right here, I can see it perfectly. It just makes everything bigger. All right. So I you love... can read words. I do love you in glasses, though. I thought that was chicken stripes, but no, it's Zoe. All right. Well, good. Oh, we got different glasses. The striped one? We found her true identity. Glasses glass number two. We... I like those ones way better. Me too. It fit me better. Yeah, gorgeous. The bag. dogs are like, whoa, what is happening here? Oh, yeah. Who is that girl? Me with All right, do it. Let's see. Don't look at my house. You guys haven't cleaned it yet. <laughs> Did you guys see it? <laughs> She's terrified. Aww. Aww. Now put them on. Hi. Right. <laughs> oh, 11, 11. See so, yeah, 11, 11. You also see one, Gabby. One, 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 one. Do you guys believe in that? It's called synchronicity. When you, every time you look at the phone, you see certain numbers all the time. And that happens to me a lot. It used to be 10, 10 all the time. It was 10, 10. And then it was 22. I always all see the 9, time. 11. You always see 9, 11? <gasps> Imagine if Gabby died in 9, 11 and then she came back as Gabby. And she wow, was a mean crazy. business owner, man. She was a mean worker. CEO, yeah. Maybe she was a firefighter. To be honest, she could have been a firefighter. Said she was probably CEO. I could see it. I could see it because she is commanding. What would I be? I don't know. What numbers do you see all the time? Every number. Yeah. Do you never see synchronicity? I don't know. Sometimes I see five five. Fifty-five five five. Sometimes I see five five five. The biggest one for me in the past was 10, 10, and 22. So I feel like October 22nd is a big day for us. But 11, 11 has been happening to me a lot lately. Dad's been seeing a lot of deer babies on TikTok. Yeah, and Sam's been seeing a lot of deer babies. But anyways, the point of this conversation is that I believe, I truly believe that God speaks to us in so many different ways. And sometimes we just have to pay attention. Sometimes if you just want to know the answer to an important question, you can ask him the question and then leave it with him. And the trick with listening to God and God's messages is to leave it with him and let it go. If you're stressing about it and stressing about it, waiting for his answer, then you can never see it. It, it eludes you because you're setting up a, a level of adrenaline while you're waiting. Mm -hmm. And you can't ever get the message but if you really want to hear God's message you have to tell it to him be open to listening and then all of a sudden you'll start noticing synchronicity like 11 11 I do not know what 11 11 means but you can look those numbers up and see but yeah I just wanted to share that with you we're gonna go and get some crickets for our bearded dragon oh, last night she, she had that. a nap with me it was so fun well she does that I'm gonna go into the dollar store and get um a fidget Okay, so I have to tell you guys this funny thing. So uh, funny. This happened to us today. This so My kids are both really, really funny, but I don't always catch it. But this morning, Sophie showed me this TikTok, or somebody sent me this talk, TikTok. I think it was Sophie. Sophie and I were watching this TikTok, and it was this man saying to his girlfriend, if you can guess the price, price of this, I'll buy it for you. And it was in like a Walmart store. And she never got anything right. And then at the end, she guessed $600 for a TV. And he, she had to, he had to buy it for her. So Sophie's like, let's do that. And I said, yeah, we should do that. Are you up for that, Gabby? Whatever you can guess the price of, I'll buy you. No. I know Why? every price in the dollar Because store. there's not much things at Walmart. <laughs> uh, I know. She never wants anything. And what did you say? I, I know every price of the things in the dollar store. <laughs> She's like, let's do it at the dollar store. I know all the prices at the dollar store. And we I don't saw know one where this guy did it to his friend at Target, but it was at the dollar section. Yeah. Like, so mm -hmm. funny. Because, yeah. you know, obviously, you know... <laughs> Obviously, you know how much everything is at the dollar store. Anyway, let's go. I'm gonna go get us some crickets. Oh, gosh, I'm freaking out. I have to have rolled on the windows. Uh, some, we just saw something crazy in the road. There was a dead raccoon, and she is squished, and there's a baby on her. I'm gonna go and see if I can catch it. Wait for me. Hold on, okay. I'm gonna leave you guys here. I'm gonna need two hands. Oh my gosh. Can I oh, hold it? Oh my gosh, you guys. Can I hold it? 
It's probably it. so scared. Gabby had to catch him. He oh went God. running. Yeah, it's... with me with my fast reflex. Gabby with her fast reflexes. He's so cute. Oh, be really careful. He's a wild animal. So it's cool. a wild animal. We don't even know if it's a boy or a girl. Anyway, the mom was dead, squished on the road. And he was just sitting beside her on the road. Like, you're about to get hurt. Horrible. So we're going to try and look around and see if there's any more siblings. Oh, I just stopped the car like crazy when I saw that. Like, Gabby's like, look it. We just want to make sure that there are no other babies. Oh, my goodness. It's so little. It's Let me see your teeth. Can I see your Look teeth? How weird his feet. Feel. His yeah. We've had raccoons before. We've taken care of lots of raccoons. He's like gorilla feet. Yeah, they do have gorilla feet. Isn't that cute? All right, let's get in the car and we'll drive up and down. So basically, it's not good if you find a single raccoon because Gabby's tanning. We're Gabby's out there on the road tanning. Gabby, get in the car, Gabby. <laughs> So basically, when you find one raccoon, it's not good because eventually he's going to have to be released. And releasing one raccoon is not a good situation. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to find another baby to go with him. We're going to take him home and see if we can find him a rescue a rehabilitation center Don't that bite. we can take Don't him bite. to. He's a biting machine. Well, he's just, he's just scared. My guess would be that he's around six weeks, but I don't know. I have to like look at his teeth, but he looks so little. We stayed for a while. We didn't see any any movement at all, and it's not too like far. We're gonna go back and check in a little bit, make sure. Whoever thought that this would happen? We'd wake up this morning and then we would just find this. We knew it was the mom because she had big, huge boobs. Let's Can see, I, let's try and give him some, let's try and give him some water. Ah! Just, just wait. Go slow. Remember, he just lost his mom, and he's probably scared. I got it. Oh, he's adorable. I got it. He's mine. Come here. 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 Come He's warm. He's not cold. Oh, you like that? Oh, hello. Oh, he wants me. Holy heck. He actually wanted me. He likes climbing. He's seen so you guys need to wash your hands. Don't let it get in your face. Oh my God, I know what to do. Yeah, don't rub your eyes. Oh, hello. I already did all that stuff. Well, you need to go wash your face and wash your hands. So, raccoons. We can't keep him, you guys. Even though he's adorable, we can't keep him. Because one, it's illegal. Two, he needs to be set free. He can't be a pet. And because that he's alone, like I was telling you, he's gonna need special care. It's really like, hopefully we'll be able to find him a rehabilitation a place that has another spare set of babies his age that he can, that he can be released with. But for right this minute, do you want to climb on me? We're getting to see him. Do you want to climb on me? Oh, he likes me. Oh, he likes Sophie. There you go. So cute. He's gonna jump. He's looking in the mirror at himself. Do you remember the last time we had a baby? So in the past, like a long time ago, even on this channel, you guys will have seen that we've had a few sets of baby raccoons. I can smell it. <laughs> and in the past, we have been. Temporarily approved for uh, for um, in the past. In the past, we have been approved for to be a temporary foster parent to a couple of litters of raccoons. So I'm familiar with the process. So I'm gonna. I have a. I know who I can call to try and get him into a place that can take care of him. And Gabby's really good with them. She says that she's not a good. Oh, he he wants. Kevin, he's trying to snuggle in with you. Yeah, he thinks your hair, your hair is his mama. We are presently closed temporarily for intake. For anything else, please leave a message. No. Thank you. Yeah. Can we go to my button? Number ten five. Hi, my name is Laura, and I found a baby raccoon. I are want. Are you still there? Disconnect. Press one. 
Okay, let's try a different one. Okay, I'm gonna try another one. The first one I couldn't leave a message. They said that they they said they were temporarily closed. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message, and I'll return your call as soon as I can. Please make your message brief and leave your phone number twice. Thanks for calling. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Laura. My phone number is we recently found a baby, orphan baby raccoon uh, with a dead mom, and we wanted to know if you have room for him. Thank you. All right, so I left a message. I left a message at one place. I'll call the other place. They said they're closed for intake. So as soon as I get a hold of somebody, this guy's gonna be sent out. Hopefully they have room. I know from rescuing in the past and for working with different facilities in the past that if we, if they, if it's kind of later in the season and a baby gets found, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's I don't like it. so cute. I don't like it. Gabby's so good with babies. She says she hates them. They love her and she's good with them. And anyway, so hopefully. Yeah, I'm so good. I threw him on the back seat. But then he um, grabbed onto the seat behind me. Yeah, then he just fell. Look, he looks like he wants to nurse from you. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> Anyway, we are going to get them all situated here while we wait for somebody to call us back. I'll try again at the one place. His feet are warm. Yeah, hopefully we can find him a home because he can't stay here. You can't stay here. There's so many reasons why he can't stay here. He's gonna jump. Don't jump. There's he some to the evil dogs. dogs. Yeah, he's probably missing his mama. So we have the horses. Hey, we have the chickens. It's illegal to to keep wild animals and he's cute while he's a baby I from crows if, yeah i like a good crow too but as he gets older his hormones will set in and he'll be destructive and it's not good for your neighbors because he won't just be destructive at our place he'll be destructive at their place so yesterday sophie got this big egg here you can't tell looks like a double though so these are our three current eggs from our new chickens yeah we got two today i think the yeah he's like yeah. He's like, give me an egg. Can we? Yeah, we're gonna cook for him. Yeah. Can I cook oh, him an egg? Oh, he's so cute. Can I cook him an egg? Yeah, you can cook him an egg. For I now? don't know if he, yeah, we should give him some water <laughs> Wouldn't first. it be funny if he jumped? Don't jump. Oh, he's jump. so cute. Jump. I know some people will be out there like, what are you doing? Are you crazy? It's a wild animal. Yes, we are crazy. Jump. Yeah, totally crazy. Jump. Jump. Oh, he wants jump. to go to you. Oh, make him jump. He won't jump that far, he's not dumb. Oh, <laughs> raccoons wash their food and they play in water. They also wash their hands. <laughs> they go. Oh, he's so thirsty. Yeah, oh, look at him. you guys. I wonder how long he was alone. Yeah, he's dipping his hands in the water. Like <laughs> washing his little hands. Oh, Don't worry. Oh, oh, wow, he, he Motion was thirsty. Activated? No nope, get away. Hey, I love you, Gabby, have you not noticed this one? Away. I know this is gross that there's a wild animal on our counter, but I will disinfect you guys. Oh, he also likes um underneath his chin being scratched. Oh, did you do that? Look at he this was full. Alright. So one of the things that we would feed a baby raccoon is puppy food because it's got Can you throw this in the freezer for a couple minutes? It's got lots of calcium in it. It's really hot. And calcium is really good for him. We don't even know if it's a boy or a girl. What do you think? I'm thinking maybe it's, it's an egg. You want me to put it on Sophie's head? Or yeah. you're not hungry? I know, it's probably something different than you've ever had before. Okay, so this is our handy dandy animal keeper. You guys will probably remember that we've had everything. We've had raccoons in here. We've had ducks in here. You name it, we've had it. All right, we are safe. It's a feral animal, it hates me. <laughs> Look, so inside here we've got some puppy food and some eggs that Sophie made, and we've got water here for him. I know, he's probably really scared because he's not, doesn't have anybody, and he wants company. Where are you? It's hard when, like I said, it's hard when you find one by itself. So basically, hopefully he'll be safe in here. The point is that he needs to be a wild animal eventually. So even though he's really cute 
and really fun that you don't want to domesticate them too much. All we can hope for is that the people message us or call us back really soon. I'm going to try and call them again because he looks pretty crafty and it's just held together by zippers. And our grass is so tall out there we'd never find him again. You're okay. You're okay, handsome. I think it's a boy. You're okay. So he's safe in here. He's got water. He's got food. He's got everything he needs except his mama and his siblings. So I put it in like a chicken container because it's good practice for him to kind of catch his food, if that makes sense, to try and dig it out and try and find it. That's, that's like one of the things. There's a whole lot of things that you have to do to rehabilitate a, a raccoon. But he's loving his food. He's got puppy food and eggs. Yeah, he likes it. Good boy. Just don't poop on your blanket because that's annoying. Oh, there we go. All right, you guys, pray. Pray that somebody calls me back. I also have kitten milk replacer if I need that, but I think he's past that stage. I think he'll be okay with just um, puppy food for calcium. And he drinks water really well, so we'll see. I mean, he also needs a lot of other food, but I mean for right this second. Hi, girls. Hi, girlies. Oh, Penny's having a drink. Good girls. Look, they only want the short grass. There's been another switcheroo. Sophie suddenly likes my pony. Wants to bond with her, train her. Hey, wait, where's the minis? On her. You don't have a rope for her? Just take Gracie, she says. So this is their new water bucket. Uh-oh. Nobody wants to go with Gabby. <laughs> Gracie does. Gracie does. Oh, we almost had a loose pony. Come here, you wanna go? Oh my gosh, what's happening? It's really glowing. On the inside, we're all white. Oh, there all we go. All white. She is so easy to catch. <laughs> She's like, where's my mom? Why isn't she catching me? All right, are you ready? Sophie doesn't bring her a rope. Even though my, my mare is super easy to train, Sophie thinks that she needs her. She needs her to train her, and I'm happy to have that though because I need a penny to have a bond with us all. All right, ladies. Thank you for coming. Come here, Minnie. Good girl. That's a girl. You got it. Oh. Get out of me. Crazy is so pushy. You said goodbye. I am. Here, come Take here. Come here, little Minnie. A treat for you, too. For coming. Even ready though you put the run on us. What's happening there? We're ready to go. <laughs> Gabby's all in raccoon mode. She's like, I can't carry you. All right, Pen, you take care of the girls, okay? Take care of them. Take care of them. All right. I wonder if she would do it to Sophie. Sophie, go over there. No. You do it. Chicken. No way. You're a chicken, too. Like, my heart wants to just stay down here, but I have a bunch of stuff I have to do. I'll come back, and I'll groom you. Is that okay with you? Penny, come here, Pen. They want to have a nap anyway. Come here, Penny. <gasps> she loves Penny. you. Hi, Pen. Don't forget, you belong to me, though. Remember when we first moved here, and I said, we'll have a garden, and it'll be amazing, and then it took three years to get a garden. Everything takes time. Don't you know that you're beautiful?